Hello, welcome back to RBI MCQ Bank Knowledge Booster. So let's start the first question. The process of stimulation of uterine contraction is known as option or option A, augmentation, option B, induction of labor, option C, both A and B, option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is option A, augmentation. Next question number two, initiation of labor at term pregnancy without any acceptable medical or obstetric indication is the option share option A, augmentation of labor, option B, elective induction of labor, option C, spontaneous induction of labor, option D, induction of labor. So here the correct option is option B, elective induction of labor. Next question number three, what is the indication of induction of labor? Option share option A, post maturity. Option B, abrupsio placenta. Option C, IUD. IUD means intrauterine death. Option D, all of the above. So here the correct option is. Option D, all of the above. Next question number four, what is the contraindication of induction of labor? Option share option A, CPD. CPD means cephalopelvic disproportion. Option B, malpresentation. Option C, heart disease. Option D, all of the above. So here the correct option is. Option D, all of the above. Next question number five, post maturity, antipartum humorous, preeclampsia. Eclampsia are the options are option A, common indications for induction of labor, option B, dangers of induction of labor, option C, indications for induction of labor, option D, parameters of induction of labor. So here the correct option is, option A, common indications for induction of labor. Next question number six, what is the danger of induction of labor? Option share option A, increased morbidity. Option B, diabetes mellitus. Option C, unstable lie. Option D, abrupsio placenta. So here the correct option is. Option A, increased morbidity. Next question number seven, why parameters to be assessed prior to induction of labor? Option share option A, to confirm the indications for IOL, IOL means induction of labor, option B, to ensure fetal gestational age, option C, both A and B, option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is, option C, both A and B. Next question number eight, what is the predictive factor for successful induction of labor? Option share option A, pregnancy nearer the term. Option B, normal BMI. BMI means body mass index. Option C, favorable test of POST. POST means positive oxytocin sensitivity test. Option D, all of the above. So here the correct option is. Option D, all of the above. Next question number nine, the drug which is currently being used either transvaginally or orally for induction of labor is option share option A, oxytocin, option B, misoprostol, option C, dinoprostol, option D, mifepristone. So here the correct option is option B, misoprostol, that is tablet misoprostol. Next question number 10. What is the common clinical conditions for the medical methods of induction of labor? Option share option A, intrauterine fetal death. Option B, abrupsia placenta. Option C, chronic hydromnios. Option D, severe preeclampsia. So here the correct option is. Option A, intrauterine fetal death. Next question number 11. What is the immediate beneficial effects of ARM? ARM means artificial rupture of membrane. Option share option A relief of maternal distress in hydromnios. Option B control of bleeding in APH. APH means antipartum hemorrhoids. Option C both A and B. Option D none of the above. So here the correct option is. Option C both A and B. Next question number 12. Potential complications of each method of induction of labor is option share option A hypotension, option B 
FHR that means fetal heart rate changes option C infection option D all of the above so here the correct option is option D all of the above next question number 13 what is the contraindications of low rupture of the membrane options are option A omen with HIV option B omen with group B streptococcus infection option C both A and B option D none of the above so here the correct option is option C both A and B next question number 14 digital separation of the chorioamniotic membranes from the wall of the cervix and lower uterine segment is known as option or option a stripping of the membrane option b artificial rupture of the membrane option c both a and b option d none of the above so here the correct option is option a stripping of the membrane